Americans get more than 57% of their calories from ultra-processed foods. According to a new study by researchers at NYU School of Public Global Health, consumption of ultra-processed foods has increased over the last two decades across nearly all segments of the US population. Australians now get almost 40% of their calories from ultra-processed foods and consumption is on the rise there too. No wonder we're all getting sicker and sicker. In this video, we'll show you the easiest ways to spot ultra-processed foods so you can avoid them as best you can. So join us in our journey towards better health and a better life. Hello and welcome to Five Pillars Health the channel where we show you the best ways to get healthy and stay healthy through the five pillars of sleep, hydration, nutrition, movement, and sunlight. For many years, the term junk food referred to foods that were deemed unhealthy and lacking in nutrition. However, junk food means different things to different people. Official dietary guidelines have used more socially acceptable terms such as discretionary foods, sometimes foods, and foods high in sugar, salt, and fat. However, these labels have not always made it easier to identify nutritious foods. After all, while many fresh fruits are high in sugar and some salad vegetables are low in nutrients, they are not unhealthy. Foods like no added sugar soft drinks and muesli bars fortified with nutrient additives aren't always healthy. Experts have proposed the extent and purpose of industrial food processing could be used as a key indicator of nutrition problems. According to the theory, some food processing makes foods more convenient, safer and tastier. However, it also designated a category of foods known as ultra-processed foods as unhealthy based on factors other than salt, fat, and sugar content. A growing body of evidence suggests that eating ultra-processed foods is linked to poorer human health, including rates of heart disease, diabetes and obesity, and planetary health, plastic pollution, excessive energy and land use, biodiversity loss. But how do you identify these foods when deciding what to buy or eat? If you're liking this video, We'd really love it if you tapped the like button. First, we have to answer the question, what exactly is ultra-processed food? Ultra-processed foods are manufactured using industrial processing methods and contain ingredients that you would not normally find in your pantry. Extrusion, molding, chemical modification and hydrogenation are examples of processing methods, which can turn liquid unsaturated fat into a more solid form. However, because manufacturers are not required to state the processes that foods go through on the label, identifying ultra-processed foods can be difficult. The ingredients list is the best place to start. Ultra-processed foods are classified by two types of ingredients, industrial food substances and cosmetic additives. Processed protein and fiber, such as whey powder or inulin, maltodextrin, an intensely processed carbohydrate, Fructose or glucose syrups and hydrogenated oils are examples of food substances. Cosmetic additives are used in food to improve the texture, taste or colour. They make ultra-processed foods more appealing and irresistibly delicious, contributing to their overconsumption. Colours and flavours, including those labelled quote-unquote natural, non-caloric sweeteners, including stevia, Flavor enhancers, such as yeast extract and MSG, and thickeners and emulsifiers, which change the texture of a food, are examples. If you enjoy our channel, please consider subscribing. Here are seven foods you might not realize are ultra-processed. 1. Milks made from plants. Many dairy substitutes include emulsifiers, vegetable gums, and flavors. Check the ingredients list because not all brands are ultra-processed. Some soy milks contain nothing but water, soybeans, oil, and salt. 2. Yogurts. Flavoured yogurts frequently contain additives such as thickeners, non-caloric sweeteners, or flavours. Instead, opt for plain yogurt. 3. Breads. Fresh bakery bread is almost never ultra-processed. However, some packaged breads contain emulsifiers, modified starches, and vegetable gums. These are typically the plastic-wrapped, sliced, and less expensive breads. 4. 
Margarine. Margarines and non-dairy spreads are ultra-processed foods due to the way they are made by hydrogenating vegetable oils and the additives they contain, such as emulsifiers and colours, unlike butter, which is essentially cream and some salt. If this video is helping you, please share it with someone who could benefit too. 5. Breakfast Cereals Many healthy cereals and breakfast drinks are overly processed. Maltodextrins, processed proteins and fibres and colours may be present. Oatmeal, on the other hand, has only one ingredient. Oats. 6. Sources and meal-based packets Thickeners, flavour enhancers and colours are common ingredients in pre-made pasta and stir-fry sauces. Simple sauces made at home with ingredients such as canned tomatoes, vegetables, garlic and herbs, on the other hand, are minimally processed. 7. Muesli and protein bars. Despite the extensive marketing to espouse their healthiness, many of these are ultra-processed, containing processed fibres and proteins, industrially modified sugars and non-caloric sweeteners. So, should we be avoiding all ultra-processed foods? Some ultra-processed foods may appear healthier than others due to fewer industrial ingredients or a lower sugar content. However, these are not necessarily less hazardous to our health. We know that Australians consume up to 42% of their energy from ultra-processed foods, but the overall effect of industrial ingredients on the diet is unknown. Furthermore, when you eat an ultra-processed food, you may be removing a nutritious fresh food or dish from your diet. So, limiting ultra-processed foods as much as possible is a good way to transition to a healthier and more sustainable diet. There are online databases that rate specific products to help guide food choices. If you've got a topic you want us to cover, please let us know in the comments. We want to bring you truly helpful videos that can improve your health and life. Because ultra-processed foods dominate the supermarket shelves, it can be difficult to avoid them entirely. And sometimes availability, allergies or dietary intolerance limit your options. We can all make positive dietary changes by eating fewer processed foods. However, governments could pass legislation to increase the availability and affordability of minimally processed foods while discouraging the purchase and consumption of ultra-processed foods. What do you think? Now that you know how to spot ultra-processed foods, will you use it to change your diet? Drop us a comment below to join the conversation. We'd love to hear from you. Think someone you know could benefit from this video? Please share it with them. You'll be sharing the gift of health.